Today on the channel, the bloodline carries on with MLW Boss Fight Series 1, Jacob Fatu. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another MLW Boss Fight Series 1 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a member of the Bloodline maybe in the future. We'll see what ends up shaking out, but we got Jacob Fatu. But for all your MLW wrestling and boss fight needs, make sure you're in a big bad toy store. Use the link in the description down below. And that's what I had to do is Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and uh, I think that's about it. Boss Fight Store, of course. Uh, that's where these kind of being sold right now. We'll see where it goes in the future. But hot off the uh, truck right here is Jacob Fatu, another, another member of uh, the Bloodline in a lot of ways. Of course, the son of legendary wrestler Fatu. Uh, member of that and know the Rikishi is his uncle, which makes the Usos and uh, all that his cousins. We know that family tree. We don't need to get into that but uh, definitely another potential suitor for the bloodline in the future i could just see the bloodline pulling kind of like an lwo on smackdown right now where they split into two factions you can get some more of the family members there split them into two faction maybe roman and jay have a faction who knows who knows but there it writes itself you could do some things there but jacob fatu no longer with mlw wrestling so we'll see what happens to him in the future but uh, quite the popular performer and one of those guys that kind of put MLW on the map over the last couple of years, uh, no doubt about it. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, see what old Mr. Fatu is up to. Big bubble window there. Extra hands. Uh, an extra head. A little accessory action. Got the glamour shot down low. MLW. Eight and up on this one here. Jacob Fatu on the side, little action figure glamour shot at the bottom with the logo. And then a little glamour shot on the side here, looking ready to rumble is what he looks like right there. And then on the back, we got a little bit of a tail of the tape. We got the cross sell down below. Of course, we're unboxing every single one of these on the channel. So check out all the reviews. End of the week, we're going to unbox this a special belt pack. And then we'll uh, rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So you don't want to miss that. MLW logo up there. Let's see what it says about old Jacob Fatu. Height. Six foot one, weight 280 pounds, hometown Samoa. Is there no uh, towns in Samoa or is it just Samoa? I don't know. I guess I never looked that deep into it. I guess you're just straight up Samoan. You're not, uh, you know, I'm not from, uh, what's a town? What's a good town? Carlisle, Samoa. I'm not from Carlisle, Samoa. Who knows? Signature move, the moonsault, a deadly one, like a young Great Muda. There you go, Great Muda. Flipping out those moonsaults on a daily basis back in the day. We're going to pull it all out. Background, all that fun stuff. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, he's got the barbed wire wrapped kendo stick. Oh, my gosh. He's ready to take it to Madge Kruger is what he's ready to do there. But it doesn't look like he's locked in or anything, which I'm here for that as well. We're just going to straight remove everything. There's that. See you later. Goodbye. Pop these hands out, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Pop him out. We're ready to go. Up high. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's dive into these accessories first. And we got some new hands here. So he's got two gripping hands. That's kind of part of the course with this line. Two gripping hands out of the package. But you got two Fists of Fury. Every figure coming with a Fist of Fury. I can get behind that. No doubt. Looking good there. And then I like this. I wish the Mattels, Jazzwares of the World would do more things like this. Instead of just straight two splayed out hands, we get a splayed out hand, but then we get a specific hand here, his patented hitchhiker hand. Yes, Jacob Fatu, one of the world's greatest hitchhikers. I have been told he hitchhikes to every single wrestling venue. That's kind of part of the fun for him. He leaves home, walks out his front door, gives you one of these, oh, I'm going to start the day, and then he just puts the thumb out, and then he waits. Sometimes he waits a, a couple of minutes, sometimes he waits hours but it's part of the fun of him getting to a show. Now, I could have just made all that up. You guys feel free to check, fact check that one right there. Or he might do the Samoan spike with this. I don't know. I don't know. Fact check it all you want. But looking good here with the hand department, I am here for that. But now we dive into this kendo stick wrapped in barbed wire. 
Absolutely love this. Very, very cool. Very awesome hardcore weapon right here. Now, we've getting, we get kendo sticks a lot. We don't get them wrapped in barbed wire very often. I think this is about the first time or one of the first times here. But looking nice, a nice little weapon you could use with other different toys and wrestling figures, things like that. But now we dive into Mr. Jacob Fatu here. An interesting looking one, no doubt about it. Going to bust out both head sculpts here. Now, this head sculpt right out of the package... He definitely has some family resemblance to Yokozuna, at least in this figure here. I see a little Yokozuna in there, especially with him having the beard. Uh, but it does look pretty much on brand for him. You got the kind of long braided hair throughout. Just a really good head sculpt on this one. And then the second head sculpt, very good as well. Probably the one I would want to use. It's the Screaming Mad head sculpt. Uh, he is the Samoan werewolf after all, but it does look really, really nice. I love that. Got a nice teeth showing, no pain issues, anything like that. Just really two good head sculpts on this one. No problems at all on my end here. Uh, he does got some tattoos across the top. He's got some tattoos on his arms. Uh, not a ton of tattoos, though, but I'm sure he's working on them. I'm sure he's adding to them. I'm sure he's added from here. We know about uh, the bloodline and all the members there. They love a good tattoo. They never met a tattoo artist they didn't like, that's for sure. Uh, but looking good in the head sculpt department. Of course, articulation can be the same as these other ones. Uh, a little bit of butterfly there. Not a ton, but a little bit. A little bicep action. Arms go all the way around. Double jointed elbows, very nice tight elbows, no problems there. Hands up and down, side to side. Two gripping hands, as I did say. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist. Big ol' splits if you do need them. Leg does go up. Double jointed knees, of course those knee pads, part of the sculpt on this one here. You do get a boot cut down here, more of an ankle cut almost. He's got the black tape wrapped on the feet and the ankles. Barefoot over here as well. He does got a hole in his foot, we'll see if that does work. Uh, but looking good. He does got the uh, kind of uh, neon green against the black color. This definitely makes him pop a little bit more. If it was just plain black, it would be pretty plain Jane. Uh, but this gives a little dash of color to him. A little bit of extra personality, and that's never a bad thing, as we do know. Now, does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Does not seem to want to fit. Oh, no. Take that back. He fits on a stand right there. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Not a bad figure right here, and I can see maybe being the biggest selling figure of Series 1 here just because of his Bloodline connections. I could see people maybe building out a Bloodline shelf. I could easily see that, and you never know. He might be in the WWE before you know it. After WrestleMania, there's a lot of times to get some new signees. You never know. He could be one of those members in the future here. You got to think he's got some friends over there that might help him through, and like I said, there might be more Bloodline stories to come after WrestleMania. We'll see what happens, but looking good there. But speaking of the bloodline, you can pull out the old Roman Reigns right there. We can pull out Paul Heyman, and then maybe his cousins, the Usos. We can get them all out here, and we might have a new bloodline going. Solo got pushed to the side, and they brought in the Owen Werewolf to take his place. Who knows? Uh, but you could do anything like that. But he could be a new member of the bloodline. They kick Solo out, or Jay. You never know what might happen in the future. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. And, of course, some more comparisons here. You got Cody Rhodes right there, about the same height. I think that works pretty good. You got Wardlow from Jazz Wears, uh, a little bit taller, as I think he should be. This uh, Fatu feels a little bit more in scale than some of the other ones. Now, we did talk about Mads Kruger. We unboxed him on the channel from this same toy line here. Now, he's supposed to be seven feet tall. It's close enough. I mean, he's got a little extra height with that stand there. I think that does work out pretty good. And then, of course, you got to have the Taurus, the black Taurus, looking good as well. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The Taurus took everybody down. That's that's like a good black Taurus. That's what he'll do. He'll take everybody down at the end of the day. Uh, but really a good figure. It's going to be interesting when I rank this entire wave. This one is kind of the sleeper and maybe the biggest surprise of the set. I knew I'd probably like this one. But it really does feel good in hand, and he really looks really good in hand. So he'll be part of the list when we do the uh, countdown in the final video when we unbox the title belts as well. So there it is, Jacob Fatu, MLW Series 1. Any thoughts on your guys' end? What do you think is going to happen with him and his career? Do you think he'll eventually go WWE? Will he join the Bloodline? Will there be a Bloodline Civil War with two different teams of the Bloodline? We'll see what happens in the future, but let me know your thoughts on this figure in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, and then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos, Q&As, giveaways, pizza stuff, dog stuff, you name it. It's all going on over there, and best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel, press tees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. 
and on Instagram. So for Jacob Fatu, I'm Kyle Fatu, and I'll see you guys all real soon.